I was born in Recife, in Brazil, northeast of Brazil. Since I'm 13 years old, I have been pendulums with Recife on Germany, trying to learn the language. It isn't an easy one. And since I am 21 years old, I'm based in Berlin. I do miss Brazil a lot. Um, in days like today, for example, it's a good example. Today is raining outside, it's cozy and nice. But these are the kind of days that I miss my sunshine, motherland, for sure. And I also miss Brazil on Christmas when I cannot fly to my family because my family is still living in Brazil and they have a big family. And when I mean big, I mean really big family. And we always had big Christmas parties and best food. And these are the days that I miss my Brazil the most, I guess. Oof, this is a big question. Um, can you imagine that before I was born, my parents started a street child project in their own house. Everything started because three kids was walking around the streets and asked my mom for food. And back in the days, my parents was also living in a favela called Shotgun in Brazil because the violence is a, the biggest problem we have out there. And I was born and already 30 kids was living with me in my house. What it means that was since I was very little, very hard to go to sleep because of everything, all the time something was happening at our home. And this is the way I grew up. What it means, I don't know nothing different than that. I have over 5,000 brothers and sisters nowadays. There are over 5,000 kids that grew up in the project. and. I would say, even if it sounds crazy, that come, it means life itself for myself, because it's the only way that I know how to live. When it comes about the things that I learned growing up that way and really helped my life a lot was loyalty, because when you have so many sisters and brothers, you have to learn very fast about loyalty, um, and also, to never ju judge no one because I met the most talented people, the most intelligent people that because they didn't never had the chance to do something with the skills they was born with, their lives ended up very different than my life is going on right now. And I think these are the two things that I will, and honesty for sure. We, we, I had to learn to be honest, to be transparent because as I, I always say what goes around comes around and I think these are the three things that I learned that that helped me the most in my actual life. For me is is the base for the way I live my life and my father told me when I was 12 years old I was a teenager and I was trying to get a little bit egoistic didn't work as well with my dad and he, one thing that he told me that I will never forget is he said, Domitila, nobody is an island. Nobody can survive by themselves. We need community. And I think, if you think, think about environment, if you think about relationships, if you think about our boyfriends, girlfriends, married, anything, if you cannot engage to the place where you live, the place, even the place where you're from, like in my case, I come from Brazil, I am in Germany, and I try to be engaged socially in both of these countries because I think if I, wa if I wanna have or create the life of my dreams, I need the people around me. I need the environment to be healthy, I need my relationships to be real healthy, and I need to engage myself in the problems and themes that I think are important to change or to do something for it. And I guess this is. Um, the work I do for Come Today is very important for myself. This is something that I have to make clear first, right? What it means, some people think I do something for Come, for the street child, but this is not that they do something for me. There are some days that I wake up and I ask myself, oh, why? It doesn't make sense. But then my mind reminds myself 
There are people counting on you as an example of a woman that come from this favela and are living the life that she created in Europe, for example, or the work I do is important for other people too. And this is so empowering. This cha changed my daily life every day. And this is how important this project is for me, to stay active, to stay positive, and never forget how blessed I am. Integrity is a big step point, even more important than money, I would say. I go every year to the street child project, come and live there with the street child in the project one month in the year. This is my meditation trip. And one month in the year, I travel through Europe and talk in schools for children about how to survive in the streets of Brazil. Why? Because I truly believe that the children are the future, not just in Brazil, but all over the places. And everywhere I go, all the children always ask me, Domitila, what can I do to help? They are always want to help. And I want to give them this chance to do it as well. So I think to make this project not famous, but to let people know about it and give people the chance to be helpful is super, is a, is super nice, it's beautiful, it's an amazing experience. And to know now that every year we are able to say welcome to over 100 kids because of the work that we do in Europe and the engagement from children, projects, groups and friends crisis is amazing. And that's why I always like to say I get so much more from the work that I do for CAM than I could ever give back because it changed my life too. Oh, she's from the jungle. Oh, it's my heart, oh, my old heart. She's from the jungle. It started back in the days when I was a little baby living the street child project because I always wanted to do something that I could use my creativity and everything about art and designs, but also do something about the way I grew up from. Like my parents, they are my idols. And I always felt like bef I was working in other jobs and I was like feeling like something is missing. And I'm so happy that I found what was missing. And it was she's from the jungle. What we do is we use golden grass. It's a plant that just grows in Brazil and looks like gold but it's plant-based, it's a plant. And we use it to do jewelry. And it's everything handmade from single mothers from the slums in Brazil. The most of them lost their men through violence and they do not have a chance to have an economic integration because they didn't went to school back in the days or because they was dependent on their men. And then we found this way to do something, how they could work, get paid for something they do with their own hands and what I like to say about this from the jungle is we use all this background that maybe is not the most beautiful and make something beautiful from it. And this is the jewelry we do.